So the family bank is your idea of how to teach personal finance. So tell me a little bit about it and why I should have a family bank over opening a real bank account for my kids. A perfect example is is what we call parent paid interest. Like if you march your kid down to the bank to, to open up a savings account, you know, how much interest do you think that they'll earn over a year? <laughs> a penny, maybe? If you know, lucky. Yeah, maybe. Maybe even a fraction of a penny. So those days are long gone when perhaps we were growing up when there were actually interesting interest rates. And so the problem with a real bank, you kind of asked, you know, why a, a, a virtual family bank versus a real bank. The problem is that the interest, I'm not really teaching them the benefits of compound interest because the interest is so tiny that it's not meaningful to a kid and it happens over such a long period. A year is like an eternity for a kid, right? So as far as they're concerned, if you take grandma's birthday check and put it in the in the bank, you've pretty much just stolen money from them and they might even get a negative association with, with saving. So the neat thing about running your own quote bank, whether you do it with paper, pencil, um, Excel spreadsheet, uh, or, or some software like ours is, hey, you're the parent, you can define the interest rate. And furthermore, you can define it to compound in a much faster time frame, something that a, that a kid could really relate to. So, you know, uh, kids who use our system get text messages. Often parents typically choose to compound interest weekly and they'll get like a text message that says, hey, you got a couple of pennies this week, right? And oh, the fun, hope, I love it. Yeah, so the hope is that you'll get this really positive association with, with saving, right? And, um, and that that will stick. 